Hi, welcome back to Pronunciation with Emma. In today's video, we're going to look at how to pronounce the R sound and also the rules for when we do and don't pronounce it. Let's start firstly with how do we pronounce the R sound? So this is how I normally explain it to my private students. I want you to imagine that you're eating some peanut butter. Okay, now peanut butter is very sticky, right? So your mouth it gets stuck and all the peanut butter gets stuck inside your mouth, right? Just imagine that. <laughs> now let's imagine that there's peanut butter stuck on the top inside of your teeth. So here, the top inside parts of your teeth. How are we going to remove that? Well, we're going to use the sides here, the sides of our tongue. We're going to take the sides of our tongue, we're going to lift them up and we're going to try and rub away where that peanut butter is on the top inside of our teeth. So that means that the outside parts of our tongue, as I showed you here, come up to touch the inside, the top inside part of your teeth. Got it so far? Well, that there is the position of how your tongue should be when you're doing the R. Okay, so you can't really see it from the outside, but your tongue inside your mouth, imagine you've been eating that peanut butter, it's stuck on the top inside parts of your teeth, and you need to try and remove it with the outside parts of your tongue. So your tongue should be curled only slightly, just so it's touching the inside parts of the top teeth. Now that you've got the tongue position, let's have a look at the mouth position. Now, Again, the way I tell my students is, I want you to imagine that you're going to take a selfie and it's going to be a very flirtatious selfie, okay? So you're going to pout like this and do a duck face like this. <laughs> you don't need to exaggerate it so much when it actually comes to doing the rah, but bear with me here, okay? Imagine you're going to take a nice flirtatious selfie for someone who you really like, okay? So you do this duck face <laughs> and that is more or less how the mouth should be placed when you do the R. So let's combine that peanut butter, try and remove that peanut butter inside your mouth shape with your tongue. So your tongue should be like this and you're taking that flirtatious selfie with the duck face. You should get something like like that, okay? If we release it, it sounds like and that is the English r. Now, there are some varieties of British English where they do pronounce the R and they may trill it, so they may some say something like a R sound, that's very normal. Just understand that there are different ways to pronounce the R, there are many different accents across the UK. What I'm showing you is in RP and modern RP, so Yes, I just wanted to make that very clear before people started asking about different R's that they've heard across the UK. Just remember, you're trying to get that peanut butter off the top inside of your teeth and you're taking that flirtatious selfie. R R R. Make sure that the tip of your tongue is not touching the top of your mouth. Otherwise, you're going to get something like R and that's not the sound that we're that's not the sound we're going for for today. So now we know how to pronounce the r. Let's have a look at some words and practice together. Red, red. So make sure the tip of your tongue is not touching the top of your mouth. Make sure the outside parts of your tongue are touching the top inside parts of your teeth. Remember that peanut butter. We're trying to get the peanut butter, yeah. Red, red. Another one, really, really, really. Now in the middle of a word, already, already, already. And the last one, through, through, through. 
Notice how I pronounce this one. I kind of join those two sounds together. My mouth is already in that kind of pouting duck face position when I'm doing the th, that voice th. If you're not sure how to do the two th sounds that we have in English, take a look. I have a video down in the description that you can have a look at. But here, what you need to do is try and put your mouth in that duck shape, as I keep saying, and um, start with the th, right? So th, 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 through, through, through. Okay, now we know how to pronounce the r, we've pronounced it in some words, let's have a look at those rules that I mentioned before. So there are three rules for when we don't and do pronounce the r. I'm going to focus on the two first rules as they focus on when we don't pronounce the r. Now, as I said before, there are some accents in the UK where they do pronounce the r even in these rules, in these contexts that I'm going to give. So that's just something to be aware of, all right? So the first rule is the r sound is silent if we have a consonant sound coming after it. For example, in the word first, first. Notice that I don't pronounce the r here and we have a s coming after that r. First, first. Another one is park, park. I don't pronounce the R again because the word ends with a K. Park, park. And the last one here, cared, cared. I don't pronounce the R because the following sound is a D. It's a consonant sound, cared. The second rule is when we have R at the end of a word, so nothing comes after it. For example, in the word care, care, care. Another one is were, were, were. And the last one, for, for, for. Now there is an exception to this rule and that is the linking R. This means that when we have a R, so we have an R at the end of a word, and the next word starts with a vowel sound, we can link them together with a r sound. For example, in car alarm, car on its own, I wouldn't pronounce the r normally, okay? Some accents may, I personally don't. Car alarm. However, in rapid speech, this would come together and we would use the linking r. Car alarm, car alarm, car alarm. Now the third and final rule is when we do actually pronounce it and we pronounce the R when we have an R and then we have a vowel coming after it. For example, in the word hairy, hairy, notice the position, getting that peanut butter, taking that pouty selfie, <laughs> hairy, hairy, hairy. Another is foreign, foreign, foreign. And the last one here, horror, horror, horror. So notice that I pronounce the one in the middle. I pronounce those two R's in the middle because they are between vowels, but I don't pronounce that final one because it's at the end. Now this video wouldn't be complete without some sentences for us to practice. So what I've got here are a mixture of sentences where we pronounce the R and where the R is silent. Before you ask in the comments, even though I say that the R is silent in some of these words, you can still pronounce it. It doesn't matter. And as I said, there are many accents across the UK where they do pronounce the R. So don't worry too much about it. Roy has a red car. Roy has a red car. Roy has a red car. Where were you on Thursday? Where were you on Thursday? Where were you on Thursday? The program starts at three. The program starts at three. 
The program starts at three. It's far away. It's far away. It's far away. So in this example, I am using the linking R. Normally, we would say far, but here, because away starts with a vowel, we're going to link it with a R. It's far away. It's far away. And that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and you've learned something new. If you have, please remember to press the like button. It's a nice free way to help me out as usual. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you next lesson. Bye bye.